the key message is that resilience is about more than providing infrastructure. People and relationships are at the heart of community mm. resilience mm. alongside practical responses. The Anglican Communion is actively building the resilience of its members across the world. So, Auntie Rose, to come back to your message on that, do you want to speak one sentence or two on the significance of resilience through the church? Well, um, I get very emotional with these kind of questions in a way because the love of our people for the world at large is it's, um, it's very extensive and, and the cry of prayer and, and um, devotions that we have every day, daily, to cover that is the only weapon that we can have is God with us and to just to give everything to him in a way of um, giving us resilience in that, you know, that our people are suffering around the globe. Um, uh, in the Melanesian context of my race of people back home, this is great because we are people of the ocean. So our people go down to the ocean for prayer, or they go and sit in the gardens and, and have a breath of fresh air to pray about creation and send this across in the four winds, as we call it in a, in a cultural perspective around the world, blow it over, and cover all the countries in one way people of God, all people, like uh, Amal, and not only just uh, Christian, but in any community, or any, but everybody in the faithful. Um, and I think it's only only God's message that is that is important, that love that we can do. Human thing that we do in our ways of helping one another, another is there. We also ask in God, and I think God's presence in there is love. Well, I think with resilience, uh, especially with poor people, mm. it's amazing how you go to villages in Egypt when people have nothing, mm. and you go to a very poor old lady sitting on the floor of nothing really, just enough to keep living, and you ask her, How are you feeling? Mm. and she do this gesture. Oh, kissing me her <laughs> hand as if I have not. Yes. This is this is resilience, isn't it? It is one. This is one thing to realize the. And as you said, it's, it's very emotional mm. because uh, when the you see that the person has little or nothing to live on. There's this willingness to give up whatever little they have so that somebody else will get as well. But again, within the resilience experience is their capacity to bounce back after they have experienced you know, such loss and such tragedy and to keep on keeping on. And I think that the word preparedness goes along with resilience mm -hmm. because the church steps in and build upon the resilience of the people, helping them to be prepared for when a disaster is going to happen. And um, uh, I have heard of the young people mm -hmm. uh, in the Pacific, mm -hmm. when they have gone out into the community and sat down with them and not only offer the kit, but offer uh, the guidelines of what they should do if there is a, a, a disaster. And it's the young people from the churches, the ones that are going out there, meeting the people, talking to them, and, and, and giving them uh, the information that they need so that when a disaster happens, they will know what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, two things happen. Uh, the, the people don't want to go anywhere. They, they want to stay there. Yes. But is is how to prepare them for, for another situation, what is coming. Uh, and I find, I, I found that very, very interesting. Uh, young people that are living in countries that are islands, that mm -hmm. you, you know you're going to face hurricanes, mm -hmm. and you know you're going to face the rising of the sea, mm -hmm. waters, you know, you know, going out and sharing with the people how to be prepared. But the sense of resilience for me is it's, it's quite interesting and quite important because it's my capacity to be able to bounce back. I mean, I don't have to give up. Uh, and resilience for me also goes hand in hand with faith. Uh, we are a people of faith. We are a people of trust. 
but the trust doesn't mean that I'm going to sit and fold my hands and wait for things to happen. My faith is a faith that, as Jesus would say to his disciples, if your faith was as big as the mustard seed, you would tell that tree to, you know, lift up yourself and, you know, that type of faith is a faith in action. That's a concrete action. You know, tell the, tell the tree to be on planted where you are and go plant yourself somewhere else. So that's where I kind of learned that, you know, the faith that I need to exercise is a faith that takes me to a concrete action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So.